So I wanted to take just um, a couple of minutes here and show you some of the very interesting and useful features embedded in the Vim GUI data visualization and imputation software. As the name suggests, it's GUI based. So let me import a data file. Now Vim GUI actually is this button on this application. Uh, we have it embedded in our PLS path modeling application, but you, you would get your own standalone uh, copy. That is, it would run on a toolbar um, much like this. So uh, if we load in a file, let's load in a file with some missing data. And I know I've got a whole bunch of them here, so let me just find one or two. Here's one. This is missing data. Say OK. And there are missing values. Start Vim GUI to impute missing values. We'll say, well, sure, go ahead. So we say enter. Note that the first thing Vim GUI does, it takes your data set and it loads it up for you. Um, now, in this particular data set, we, uh, you have the ability to select variables. We do not want to impute these first three. For one thing, they're not missing any data, but they're, they're not quantitative. They're not part of the experiment. They're, they are, this is their factor data, actually. So we're just going to leave those alone. All the other ones, we'll use all the other ones. And note it shows you some values and tells you the type that it is. But you have to click this Accept button. So we do that, and it loads it up, and we get a view of the data set, but we don't really have to worry about that right now. Um, very interesting things. For one thing, it gives you visualizations of, it gives you several visual visualizations that are intended to help you see the pattern of missingness. And you can see the pattern in this. I, I put the, the missing cells in there. This is just simply a, uh, this is a bar chart. And here are all my data items. And so you can very, very clearly see that some maniac deliberately put in these missing values. Um, but there are other, this is an aggregate visualization. And you can change it around uh, to various configurations. But you also have um, you have bars, you have bar charts, so it's showing you how many are observed and how many are, are missing. You have um, histograms, which don't look any different actually. You have uh, this is a a margin matrix where you have the data items in the middle, and then you have uh, bars on the on the axes that show you the distribution and it also provides a little information about the missingness with these red dots. You have a scatter plot matrix where the red crosses are the missing missing patterns. You have a mosaic plot, the red again missing patterns. A um, This is a parallel coordinates missing plot um, you get the idea. Quite a few uh, visualizations, this is a matrix plot, that enable you to see the pattern of missing this. And we can tell that it's not random in this data set, which can be a problem. But So anyway, you have those. And then you can perform imputation. There are three tabs, basically. The data tab, the imputation tab, and visualization. The imputation tab, the techniques that you have are along the side here. There are four of them. You have um, hot deck imputation. You have um, uh, iterative regression and uh, model-based imputation, ERMI. You have K nearest neighbor approach. And then you have just plain old single regression imputation. These are largely non-parametric approaches. That is, they don't strictly require that you have multivariate normal data. That's why we chose this for our PLS path modeling application. PLS path modeling is non-distributional. So we wanted a, an appropriate uh, imputation piece of software that's easy to use, has a lot of power, 
we didn't require we program anything. All we did is hook it up to our application, basically. And there's so many features in here, it's really difficult to go through all of them. Uh, but anyway, when you do make the imputation, so let's say we'll do a hot deck imputation, and I won't do anything other than um, no. Let's do let's do nearest neighbors. Nearest neighbors is uh, really more appropriate, and we'll say we'll use three k equals to three three groups, three nearest neighbors. That is, it will compare it to the three closest. What it does is, if a record has one missing value, it will find other records that have one missing value in that same variable, and yet the rest of the values are very close to other records. It'll find matching records, so to speak. In this case, three of them, and it will choose the best one to uh choose as a clone to fill in the missing data item. So if you have a missing data item, it just goes out, finds records that are like it, and uses their value for whatever variable is missing. So we say, apply the imputation, it's successful, we go OK. And then you can save the set or not. In our application, you have to. You have to come up here and say, um, save the new set either to file or if you're actually in the session I would save it as a variable I would say save to variable and then you would name it and in our case for for reasons that can't explain right now file one would be the choice and we say accept and then finally another pop-up box do you want to use the imputed values and we say sure Variable already exists. You want to replace it? We go sure. So you can import, uh, you can impute a data set on the fly in our application, and then immediately save that data set, make it active in the session while the application's running. Or you could have, we could have just saved it to a file on disk. This is a great app, and it's free. It's R based, but you don't have to know R. Um, I really think that you'd find it easy to use and very useful for you, give you a professional spin to your papers and articles. And I'd be happy to help you uh, understand it and to follow up with support afterwards in a course. I I'm a university professor, teach a course. Um, the cost to you would be, if you're a student, less than $200. It's, it's, it's quite reasonable. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you have a good day.